Imagine waking up in paradise, but which paradise is right for you, Thailand or the Philippines? In today's ultimate showdown, we're putting these two Southeast Asian gems head to head. Whether you're a future expat, retiree, or an adventurer seeking your next destination, you're in the right place. We're tackling everything. Language, beaches, cuisine, cost of living, healthcare, infrastructure, crime and safety, culture, visas, and yes, even the pursuit of love and romance. And with data from the US Department of State, the World Bank, and Bloomberg fueling our comparison, you can bet we're diving deep, then we will reveal the winner in each category. Here, stick around till the end because I'll be revealing my personal choice between these two countries and explaining why I made that decision. Here. Will my choice be Thailand or the Philippines? Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Now we all know that communication is key, especially when you're living abroad. So which country will make you feel right at home? I don't want to drag this category too long, but verdict, the winner is the Philippines. The Philippines takes the cake in this category, and it's no surprise really. English is one of their national languages, which means you'll have an easier time communicating in your day-to-day -day life. My verdict, I too will side with the Philippines in this category. Now don't get me wrong, Thailand isn't entirely lost in translation. You'll find plenty of English speakers in popular tourist hotspots, and many locals and business catering to tourists in these areas have a decent to good command of the language. If you're planning to stick around in touristy areas and don't speak Thai, you'll be just fine. But still, the Philippines is the undisputed champion of this round thanks to its widespread English proficiency. Now that we've tackled the language barrier, it's time to hit the beach. Our next category is beaches and islands. So which country will make you feel like you're living on a tropical postcard? You might be surprised by this one, but the Philippines actually takes the win again. With over 7,000 islands to choose from, you might need to extend that vacation or retirement to a lifetime to explore them all. Of course, not all of these islands are accessible or suitable for living. Many lack infrastructure like hospitals, hotels, electricity, or running water. However, over in Thailand is no slouch when it comes to breathtaking beaches and peaceful islands. You'll still find plenty of picture-perfect getaways to soak up the sun and relax. Verdict. The Philippines is the winner in this category for its incredible abundance of beaches and islands. However, keep in mind that Thailand still has plenty to offer for those seeking sun, sand, fun, and tan. If you're nodding in agreement, hit that like button and let's keep this comparison going. My verdict. As for me, I like the fact that the infrastructure is set up and it is not hard to travel to many of Thailand's best beaches. I'm not the adventure type anymore, traveling to really remote places just to see nice beaches is no longer for me. But hey, who needs thousands of beaches when you've got quality over quantity, right? So I go with Thailand. I prefer conveniences, amenities, internet connection over quantity. We have explored the beaches and islands, but now it's time to dig into something truly mouth-watering. Food. It's Thai food versus Filipino food in a culinary showdown that'll leave your taste buds tingling. I just know from experience, food, accommodation, medical care, and hospitals all go to Thailand. But hey, I'm not here to spoon feed you my opinions. I have the cold hard facts. Now judging food can be tricky because it's so subjective. So I thought, why not ask the experts from the food world? Enter Asia's 50 Best Restaurants, a prestigious list made by a media firm with roots in the UK, US, France, and Singapore. They've been dishing out this list since 2013, polling around 300 restaurant professionals across Asia to choose the top restaurants. Between 2013 and 2020, Thailand cooked up a whopping 51 restaurants on the list, while the Philippines only managed to plate four. And get this, a Bangkok-based restaurant snagged first prize for four years in a row. We're talking top-notch, even outshining Japanese, Taiwanese, Singaporean, Vietnamese, and Filipino cuisine. Sure, some might argue that not all the Thailand-based restaurants given the award serve traditional Thai food. That's true, the four-time winner was an Indian restaurant, but it called Bangkok its home. Plus, dozens of other Thai or Thai fusion restaurants made the cut on the list. Verdict. So it looks like Thailand takes the cake, or curry, when it comes to food. 
Give Thai food a thumbs up if you agree. My verdict. I grew up eating all sorts of Thai and Isan food. While Philippine food does have more of an American influence on them, but this is an easy pick for me. Thai food. Thai dishes have this way of making my taste buds dance. I mean, there's a reason why it's earned such high praise from culinary experts worldwide, right? Having satisfied our cravings with Thai food, let's move on and focus on finding that perfect home. Let's explore the ins and outs of the cost of living and accommodation. Which place is more expensive or more affordable? I found some stats and data to help us compare the cost of living and accommodation in Thailand and the Philippines. Let's take a look at the numbers from Numbio, a well-known cost of living website and a popular cost of living calculator for expats. According to Numbio, at the time of this upload, the cost of living in the Philippines is around 10% lower than in Thailand. Rent prices are approximately 30% higher in Thailand than in the Philippines. Expats say that the cost of living in Bangkok is 14% more expensive than in Manila, the Philippines. Think of it like this. Thailand is like a spicy pad thai where you get more flavor for your buck, but you may end up paying a bit more for that prime seat at the restaurant. The Philippines, on the other hand, is like a delicious halo halo desert where the rent is as sweet as the dessert, but the overall cost of living might leave you craving for more. Verdict. And the winner is, well, it really depends on your priorities and personal preferences. Are you ready to spend a little more for that fancy Thai condo with a view, or would you prefer a budget-friendly Filipino apartment that leaves you with more money to explore the beautiful islands? The choice is yours. So it really is a Thai. My verdict. I've experienced it all from charming Thai-style homes and budget-friendly condos to luxurious hotels that'll make you feel like a rock star without the rock star budget. Now about the cost of living, just venture outside the city and an affordable lifestyle there waiting for you. I choose Thailand as the winner. It's not just the affordable Thai food or the culture that has me hooked and the ease of finding that perfect home. Now that we've settled into our dreamy Thai condo and budget-friendly Filipino apartment, it's time for a health check. It's time to get into the so important topic of healthcare. Thailand offers two types of hospitals, government-run, aka universal hospitals, and international or private hospitals. The government-run hospitals cater to everyone, including foreigners, though visitors may have to pay a tad more. While not all but some government-run hospitals might look like third-world hospitals, but rest assured that private and international hospitals are often on par with their Western counterparts, with cutting-edge medical technology and English-speaking doctors. Over to the Philippines. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure how their hospital system is structured, but let's just say it's a bit of a mystery. However, we do know that a Spanish research firm compiled a list of the top 100 hospitals in Southeast Asia, and Thailand had 44 entries, while the Philippines had just four. Thailand has over 10 times the number of top hospitals in Southeast Asia compared to the Philippines. Sure, the Philippines has St. Luke's Hospital, a world-class hospital in Manila, but Thailand has 44 world-class hospitals. Thailand doesn't just have top-notch hospitals, they also offer great dental care. Many Thai doctors and dentists have degrees and certifications from the US, Europe, Australia, and other English-speaking countries meaning they can speak with you in English. According to numbio.com in 2023, Thailand's healthcare care index is 77.9, while the healthcare exp index is 137.81. This indicates that healthcare in Thailand is not only highly rated, but also relatively affordable. Thailand's healthcare system is known for its quality and efficiency, which is reflected in these numbers. By the way, on this chart, it says Thailand is ranked seventh higher than Canada. So I'm not so sure how trusty is this website, but it's mainly based on travelers and expats' opinions and not the experts. So far, the opinions by travelers and expats are positive for Thailand's hospitals and healthcare services. Over to the Philippines, it has a healthcare index of 67.8 and a healthcare exp index of 121.4. Although healthcare in the Philippines is generally more affordable than in Thailand, it doesn't quite match Thailand's quality and efficiency. Of course, no system is perfect, 
you'll find stories of misdiagnoses and incorrect medications just like anywhere else in the world. But when it comes to medical tourism, Thailand often takes the spotlight over the Philippines. Verdict So in the epic battle of hospital and medical care, Thailand comes out as the winner. My verdict I also go with Thailand for its hospitals and dental care hands down. It's also easier to have access to multipole type of hospitals in Thailand, whereas the Philippines is broken up in different islands, making harder and longer to get the medical care you want. Healthcare, check. Now let's talk about something that makes our everyday lives just a little bit more convenient, or sometimes annoying, infrastructure, internet, and television. In the Philippines, you'll find a great number of English TV channels, thanks to the country's fluency in the language. You can catch all your favorite American shows, from National Geographic to MTV. Thailand also offers English channels, but you might need to pay extra for a TV package, especially outside major cities. So, in the TV department, the Philippines snatches the trophy. But remember, Thailand isn't far behind with a few extra bucks. Now let's talk internet. Let's just say, Thailand's internet speed ranges from meh to whoa, that's fast. In the Philippines, however, the internet can be a bit of a hit or miss, with the many islands causing a challenge to connectivity. In 2023, Thailand is ranked 6th in fixed broadband connection with an average speed of 203 megabytes per second. That's 4x faster than my last job working in the office in the financial sector of Toronto, Canada. That is pretty impressive if you ask me. However, mobile connection is currently ranked 53rd in the world with an average speed of 40 megabytes per second over in the Philippines is ranked 40th in fixed broadband connection with an average speed of 90 megabytes per second. Mobile connection is currently ranked 79th in the world with an average speed of 24 megabytes per second. In the great internet speed race, Thailand takes the gold. Lastly, infrastructure. According to Statista.com and the World Bank, Thailand scores higher in infrastructure ratings than the Philippines. Need some visual proof? Just compare the international airports in Bangkok and Manila. Thailand soars high in this category too. Here are the total reviews by travelers on Google. Verdict. So in the great showdown of infrastructure, internet, and TV, Thailand takes the cake. Although the Philippines does have a slight edge in the TV department. My verdict. To me, the infrastructure and internet goes to Thailand. I work online and I need good internet speed. As for the Philippines, I find that I need a couple of backups for internet, and sometimes it can be very frustrating. Unreliable internet was one of the main reasons I had to leave the Philippines on my last trip. Perhaps Elon Musk can change that in the country once Starlink is available. But for now, I pick Thailand in this category by a large margin. Now that we've talked about the digital and physical connections between Thailand and the Philippines, let's get into the topic that's on everyone's mind when they travel or live abroad. Crime and safety. I'm going to tell you the mysteries behind those safety statistics and see which country has the edge in keeping you safe and alive. When it comes to safety stats, I got some stats from the U.S. Department of State for American travelers in Thailand and the Philippines. Between October 2002 and December 2016, that's 14 years, there were 391 U.S. citizen fatalities in Thailand and 286 in the Philippines. You might say, wow, that's 100 more deaths in Thailand, but there's context. Thailand welcomed a whopping 32 million international tourists in 2016 alone, compared to the Philippines' 6 million. So, more visitors, more risks, more accidents, right? Now let's see the causes of death. In the Philippines, the top cause for U.S. citizens is homicide, followed by road accidents. In Thailand, however, road accidents take the unfortunate lead, which isn't too surprising given their high road fatality rate. To put things into perspective, combining U.S. citizen deaths in both countries over 14 years gives us fewer than 700 U.S. fatalities. Now compare that to a single U.S. city like Chicago, where yearly homicides alone surpass those combined numbers perspective, right? Now what about GDP? Wealthier countries with higher GDPs typically have less crime. Thailand's GDP is higher than the Philippines, but the Philippines is catching up fast. So, are Thailand and the Philippines safe? Well, compared to a city like Chicago, yes. Just use common sense and avoid doing silly things. 
you'll be fine and stay out of the roads if you have no experience. Overall, tourist hotspots from both places are safe. In 2022, the Global Peace Index ranked Thailand 103rd out of 163 countries with 2.1 rating, while the Philippines is a bit behind ranking at 125th spot out of 163 countries with 2.3 rating. Numbio.com, which is mostly opinion survey from expats and travelers, in 2023, it ranks Thailand's crime index of 38.37, which is low, and safety index of 61.63, which is high to very high safety. Over in the Philippines, the crime index at 42.71, which is considered moderate, and safety index of 57.29, which is moderate safety to high safety. Verdict. Based on the stats from the U.S. Department of State's Numbio.com and the Global Peace, Thailand wins this category, the Crime and Safety Department. Also, Thailand recently legalized this green plant, while the Philippines will arrest and jail you. My verdict. I choose Thailand for being a safer place, and one of the main reasons is the difference in public security. In the Philippines, it's common to see security guards carrying assault rifles, and firearms are sold in some shopping malls, which can make some people like me uneasy. This is not the case in Thailand, making it a more comfortable choice for some. Also, foreigners are not allowed to own firearms in Thailand. However, ultimately, the decision is yours to make based on your own experiences and judgment. If you are a Republican from the U.S. and feel comfortable around firearms, then the Philippines might be a fit destination for you. With all that said, I never had major issues in both places. So, we're done with crime and safety. It's time to explore the vibrant and diverse cultures that make both Thailand and the Philippines truly fascinating. Let's talk about the people, customs, and traditions that make each country unique and unforgettable. Let's get into the fascinating cultures of Thailand and the Philippines, where religion takes center stage and leaves you feeling like you've stepped into an entirely new world. In Thailand, 95% of the Thais are Buddhist, which means self-control, non-confrontation, and respect are basically their superpowers. On the other side, Filipinos are a bundle of emotions and expressions. While Roman Catholics rule their religious beliefs, their rich history of paganism, colonialism, and trade has created a fascinating blend of lifestyles. Filipinos are famously warm and friendly, welcoming strangers with open arms. Family is at the heart of their culture, which translates to their generosity with food, home, and time. Travelers can expect a heartfelt Filipino welcome, as it's almost unheard of for them to say no. Filipinos are resilient, bouncing back from disasters with determination and resourcefulness. Verdict. There's no metric to rank this. My verdict. I'll say it's a tie. While English-speaking travelers might find it easier to communicate with Filipinos, overall, both countries have their own unique attractions and experiences that make them worth visiting. It's really up to personal preference and what you're looking for in a travel destination. The next and final two categories will have a winner for each category. So, let's get started on tourist and retirement visa. Let's talk about the Thai tourist visa first, then we can talk about the retirement visa and the visa options in the Philippines. The Thai tourist visa now is more expensive and trickier than it was back 10 plus years ago. Before that, people could do a visa run every 30 to 60 days to get another tourist visa, and there were reports that some foreigners lived like that for years without much problem. Today, if you're planning to stay in Thailand for over a year with a tourist visa, brace yourself for a complicated adventure. I think the days of hopping over to a neighboring country for a visa run to get another tourist visa seem to be long gone, but not impossible. However, Thailand has rolled out the red carpet for people with deep pockets, targeting high-income travelers and expats for long-term stays. While backpackers and budget travelers can still join the party, they are always welcome, but they will be gently shown the door after a 30 or 60 day stay. Want to stick around longer than that? Well, you'll need a different visa or a trip back home to secure another tourist visa. If you can't afford to go back home to get another tourist visa, or don't have the money for a non-immigrant visa, or the elite visa. You might just be the low-income traveler or retiree that the Thai authorities would prefer to keep away when it comes to long-term stays. 
But here's the good news. Both Thailand and the Philippines offer visa-free entry for up to 30 days. In Thailand, you get 30 days if you're coming in by air but 15 days by land. The Philippines also offers foreigners tourist visas for a total of three years before needing to leave the country and they can reapply for another three years. Thailand doesn't offer a tourist visa for more than one year. So, the winner for tourist visa is the Philippines, in a huge margin. As for the overall visa application, obtaining a tourist visa for the Philippines is relatively easy, with options to extend up to three years. I think Thailand's tourist visa has become more expensive and complicated to renew in recent years. I had a relative that is a dual citizen and a Thai who speaks fluent Thai. She came to Thailand with a Western passport but wanted to extend it for the third time. I believe it was one of the tourist visas, but immigration wanted her financial statement to prove her income. She showed them her bank account, but that wasn't enough. They wanted more. I just told her to tell them that she is Thai, and the next time she travels here, she would use her Thai passport so she doesn't have to deal with immigration. Because I think they really don't want low-income foreigners staying here long-term or doing multiple visa runs. The Philippines wins again for the overall ease of visa application. It's hassle-free visa application and generous extension options for the comparison of retirement visas for both places. The Philippines has the special resident retirees visa, called SRRV, that allows foreigners to stay indefinitely as long as you can meet the requirements of the program. In Thailand, there are three different retirement visas. The first one you apply inside Thailand, second and third you apply in your home country. There are also financial requirements for each, which I won't get into. This is just a brief overview. So, who takes the crown in the visa showdown? Overall, the Philippines win this category hands down thanks to its simpler retirement visa process and the option to grab a tourist visa that lasts up to a whopping three years. My verdict. I also picked the Philippines. I remember the old days when there were thousands of backpackers or digital nomads living in Chiang Mai doing dropshipping. Today, I hardly see anyone mentioning dropshipping in Thailand. I think the easy and cheap Thai visas are long gone for long-term stays. Now that we've straightened out the great visa mystery, let's get into the real reason some of you might be eyeing these tropical paradises. After all, life isn't just about paperwork and bureaucracy, it's about finding that special someone who makes your heart sing and maybe even speaks your language. So, grab your Cupid's bow and let's see which country is the ultimate matchmaker for those on the hunt for love. Let's say you're on a mission to find a soulmate, but language barriers and culture clashes aren't your cup of tea. If your heart is set on finding a wife or girlfriend without enrolling in language classes or dipping into a new culture, you're in luck. Pack your bags for the Philippines. Thailand might be tempting with its bustling nightlife in Pattaya, Patong, or Bangkok, but if lasting love is your true goal, you better stick to the Philippines. Why? Because in the Philippines, love doesn't need a translator. With English as a widely spoken language, you can woo your way across the country. And if you're Roman Catholic and seeking a partner who shares your faith, you're in luck again. Thanks to Spanish colonization and American influence, the Philippines is mainly Catholic, making it a match made in heaven for those seeking a devout soulmate. In contrast, Thailand is primarily Buddhist, so if faith is a priority, the Philippines gets the final rose. Verdict. In summary, if finding love is your top priority and you want to avoid language barriers and cultural differences, the Philippines might just be your paradise. With its English-speaking population and shared Roman Catholic values, the odds of finding your perfect match are definitely in your favor. My verdict. If you're an older man, if you don't want to learn a new language or learn a new culture, stick with the Philippines. Although Thailand does have people that speak English, most of who are working or living in the tourist hotspots of the country. That might not be the best place to find a long-lasting relationship, although some have found the love of their life and live happily. But I still give this category to the Philippines, as most Filipino women can speak English and are Roman Catholic, which aligns with the values of many Western guys. Now that we've played Cupid and guided your heart to the right destination, let's wrap this up and help you make the ultimate decision for your life abroad. In conclusion, both Thailand and the Philippines have their unique charms and advantages, making it a tough decision to choose between them. 
Thailand takes the lead in food, healthcare, infrastructure, internet, crime, and safety, while the Philippines shines in language, beaches and islands, television, visa, and finding love, making it an excellent choice for those seeking a more westernized experience and a romantic connection. Ultimately, the choice between the two depends on your personal preferences, priorities, and lifestyle. By considering the factors discussed above, you can make a well-informed decision about which country best suits your needs and desires for travel, retirement, or living abroad. Want to learn more? Download a free ebook for my introduction to Thailand guide? There is a link in the description below this video. My best advice is to visit both Thailand and the Philippines on your holiday before making a final decision. Remember, if you don't like one of these places, you can always move to the other. Life's too short to not explore your options, right? And who knows, maybe you'll find the love of your life, or at least a new favorite dish to tickle your taste buds. As for my choice, I picked Thailand as the winner in this comparison. However, your preferences and priorities may be different, so take the time to weigh the pros and cons to find your paradise. Here are my reasons why I chose Thailand over the Philippines. Number 1. Medical Care Thailand's got a winning hand when it comes to hospitals and dental care. With over 44 world-class hospitals, I'm confident I'll be in good hands. 2. Internet Speed Working online is a breeze in Thailand with their impressive internet speeds. In the Philippines, I might need a couple of backups, a lucky charm, and a prayer to get through the day with stable internet. Number 3. Sturdy Infrastructure Thailand scores higher in infrastructure ratings, so I'll be navigating smoother roads and visiting more organized airports. Number 4. Safety Thailand's safety stats give me some peace of mind, plus, they've recently legalized a certain green plant which might be a game changer for some retirees. Just saying. Number 5. Thai food. I just love Thai food. I find that Thailand has more variety of food and fruits than the Philippines. Number 6. Cost of living and accommodation. I find that Thailand has more options for accommodations with cheaper rental prices than the Philippines. Number 7. Visa. This does not apply to everyone, but I don't have to worry about overstaying in Thailand. If I had to worry about my Thai visa, my second option would probably be the Philippines or Malaysia. What are your thoughts on this comparison? Did I nail it or miss the mark? Share your opinions and experiences in the comments below. If you enjoyed this epic face-off, please hit that like button and don't forget to share the video with anyone you know considering a move to Asia. Also subscribe to Keyframe 5 for more travel tips, comparisons and adventures. Still can't decide yet? Check out this reaction video about Thailand versus the Philippines at the top right corner here. If you want to watch more Thailand comparison video, check out my on Thailand versus Malaysia here, bottom right corner. Happy travels!